serious what is the most successful lie in history. I acknowledge that I have read and agree to the above terms and conditions. Iceland and Greenland Frank Abagnale Jr., the inspiration for Catch Me If You Can, apparently wasn't as big of a con man that the movie leads you to believe. He conned people into thinking he was a bigger con man than he actually was. In the 90s kids spread the rumor that Marilyn Manson had a rib removed so he could suck his own DCK. We spread this rumor across the entire country without the use of cell phones or the internet. One that we'll never know was a lie. That fat is harmful to your diet. That was just false information. And by trying to replace fats with sugar, obesity became an epidemic. Santa Claus Trojan horse comes to mind. When the Allies tricked Germany into thinking D-Day was happening at other locations which weakened the defenses at the primary, landing points. Going by the replies to this question, I feel a need to say the most successful lie is Rule 6 serious tag posts are off limits to jokes or irrelevant replies. It's not you, it's me. That lobbying isn't just bribery with extra steps. Milk doesn't increase bone strength. Carrots don't improve eyesight, that's a WW2 myth. For me it's that turning in the light in the car is illegal. Spoiler alert IT isn't. I before E except after C. Unless your foreign neighbor Keith offers you eight counterfeit slays from feisty caffeinated weightlifters. Weird. We are using mass surveillance to help catch terrorists. Fat is bad for you, sugar is okay. Have 11 servings of bread per day. Laws are designed to ensure that everyone is treated fairly and equally. That hard work alone will bring you success wealth. You need to buy a stone on a ring to show some form of dedication. Bush claiming that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Half-Life 3 Catherine the Great died having sex with a horse. She didn't, and this was known at the time. But a number of her contemporaries mostly British and French leaders, who respected neither Russia nor female rulers started the rumor in order to sully her legacy. And since the first thing that comes to a lot of people's minds when they think of Catherine the Great is the horse-fucking story, the lie worked. That getting yourself in crazy debt at 18 years old to go to college is the only path to success in life. That diamonds are rare and you should spend three months income on a diamond engagement ring. My now wife would have shot me if I spent 18 grand on a fucking ring. Only one I can think of is when Hitler successfully convinced all of Germany that the Jews were the problem. The war on drugs. That diamonds are valuable. Made one family really really rich though lol. Trickle down economics. Recycling plastic makes a difference. Newsflash. The term carbon footprint was created by BP one of the biggest oil companies in the world with the help of one of the biggest marketing companies in the world to shift the focus from industry to individual responsibility. That your government cares about. That you swallow an average of eight spiders per night while sleeping. To test her theory that people are susceptible to accepting as true anything they read online, Lisa Holst a columnist for PC Professional in the 1990s, conducted an experiment. Holst wrote a list of fabricated facts and statistics including the folklore about the average person swallowing eight spiders per year, and put it on the internet. The harder you work the more you will get paid. The highest paying position in a company requires no work at all. No matter how hard you work you can never get there. Cigarettes don't cause cancer, successful, because of the money they made off that lie. WMDs in Iraq. Millions of civilian lives lost and affected for generations to come. That you have to eat three times a day and if you don't eat for a couple of days you will die. I am really surprised how many people still believe this bullocks. Trickle down economics I think. Jesus not his real name or translation was white. Joseph Smith creating the LDS Church. 
America is the greatest country in the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm born and raised in the US, we've got our problems but I know it could be worse, but we aren't the only country with democracy, we aren't the only country with freedom. It's an okay country, but certainly not the greatest. The American Dream What about that dude who played a flute with the city gates open and the invaders thought it was a trap and they left? Was that a real thing in history, cause if so that is one giant badass lie to save a city like that? Religion Lot of edgy responses in here. One that does bother me sometimes is how much people worship the Kennedy family. They were all pieces of shit, some bigger than others, and the only innocent one was Rose. That woman need makeup to be beautiful. That the US is a free market economy. Religion Trickle down economics. God has told me what to do. God loves you but needs your money. Plato probably creating the idea of Atlantis. Even Aristotle at the time thought it was just a made up story. Millennia later, and we have people still believing it, and now we have millions of entries in Google about it. Edit I meant to say Aristotle, not Socrates. That you are free. Cigarette companies. Look at the ads all through the years, from Doctors Agree, cigarettes are good for you to Joe Camel, Marlboro Man, etc. Even when they were finally forced to put warning on their cartons about how cigarettes can literally kill you, it's still a billion dollar industry. I know there's more heinous lies out there, but this one hits home for me. Inflation. It's just rich people getting together to get richer. Religion. That the religious zealots who left England to found what would eventually be called America were fleeing religious persecution. While they Puritans were persecuted in England, they fled specifically in order to be able to inflict their own brand persecution more thoroughly. Police are here to serve and protect. Police are here to control the population and enforce the will of the ruling class. You're settled in life if you do well in school. That Brexit would lead to sunny uplands and a prosperous nation. I didn't fall for it, but many people in the UK did. What an absolute fucking shit show. Capitalism rewards hard work. Creationism. I wouldn't even call it a theory the ideology is so bad. The Iraq War and WMD. And no one ended up in The Hague. Elder Scrolls 6. Virgin Mary. Take care of the rich, it will trickle down. That politicians are genuinely going to help you once they're elected. That trickle-down economics work and you will become richer if you work harder, instead of lining your boss's pockets. A whole generation of billion people believed this. And some still do. WMD in Iraq, war makes money. Clean coal. Lower taxes on the rich and the money they spend will trickle down to everyone else. Jesus is the son of God, and not the son of Mary's side piece. Christopher Columbus discovered America before the Vikings lol.